All right, guys, thank you very much. Uh, as you probably guessed, I'm uh, originally from Ohio. Um, <laughs> it's actually true. I, uh, it's actually true. I, no, I was trying to pick the funniest state. No, I really am from Ohio, and uh, I did not experience much racism growing up in Ohio, and I can't believe that people in this day and age are still racist. Um, that is so gay. That is so gay. Um, <laughs> Every, every now and then, every now and then, you know, some, some white person in Ohio might say to me, hey, go back to India. And so I did, and I did a tour. It was actually great advice. <laughs> great. I hope everybody had a good uh, Memorial Day weekend. I was actually talking to a vet this week, and uh, I was telling him I, I went over and I did some comedy overseas, went to the Middle East, and he goes, oh, for the troops? No, for the enemy. Uh, I was over... Um, <laughs> I was over there uh, in Kuwait, which is, uh, that's kind of a cool thing about this job, is you get to go perform all over the world, and these comedians uh, wanted to, you know, show us, show us their country, which I thought was kind of cool, and I said, yeah, let's see what we can see here in Kuwait, and they took us to a mall. Yeah, that wasn't the guy's name, a mall. It was actually, <laughs> that would have been cool, but it was actually a shopping mall, and that was their big thing. It's the largest mall in the Middle East. It's in Kuwait City. But I don't think they realized they were not going to impress an American with a mall, right? I mean, we invented shopping malls. So these same comedians are coming here this year, and I'm going to take them to Death Valley. feel like it's the only way. I gotta get back at them, you know? They're gonna fly for 20,000 hours and gonna land. We have heat, we have sand. Welcome to America. <laughs> Over there. Uh, but you don't have to go to, uh, to the Middle East to meet Middle Easterners. A lot of Middle Easterners here in Los Angeles. A lot of Persians. I don't know if we have any Persians here tonight. Well, let's talk about them. Um, okay. Nice. Well, because they always say that, I'm Persian, I'm Persian, right? They always say I'm Persian, you know? They never say they're Iranian, which is odd. I don't know if they've looked at a map after 1935, but... Right? There's no Persia, it's over, you can let it go. I'm gonna say you don't meet some guy from Iraq who says, hey, I'm Mesopotamian. That does not happen, okay? You don't meet some Mexican guy, I'm Aztec, I say. No, you are not Aztec. Do we have any Mexicans in the house? Uh, right, well, you probably built the house, so thanks for being here. Uh, brown on brown crime, there it is, all right. That's great. Oh, man. Donald Trump, everybody's got to mention him here tonight. I feel like it's, we all have to say something about Donald Trump. It's crazy. I, I, uh, it's, it's odd. I mean, we didn't know that he would make it this far, of course. But now, you know, the people who go to his rallies they're, of course, against immigration, but they're the same people who say that the United States of America is the greatest country in the world. Which it is, but shut up. <laughs> That's why everybody wants to come here. The advertising campaign is working, all right? <laughs> Don't tell everyone this, this is crazy. I think, I just think as Americans, well, I think we're dicks about immigration. The reason is, I, I personally think, we put a state called New Mexico on the border. Of course Mexicans want to come here. It's newer. That's just a dick move. I mean, if there were a new India and Pakistan, my parents would have gone to check it out. Okay, I'm just telling you. It's ridiculous. 